Lever Press is committed to the proposition that the publication of excellent scholarship should not depend on the ability of a book to command sales in the market or the ability of authors to pay. Thanks to the support of more than 50 liberal arts colleges and their libraries, Lever's publications are made freely available online to readers and are published without any charge to their authors. Guided by an editorial board of distinguished faculty, the press seeks out works of the highest standard and develops digital publications that explore new possibilities in communicating scholarly ideas. At a recent meeting, editorial board members shared the reasons why they support Lever Press. I think first and foremost is the collaborative nature of the project. I like the idea that it's a collaboration between faculty, librarians, and actually the administrations of a number of institutions who are happy to go forward with what I sort of also see as very exciting, is very innovative. We want to make academic research something that is more practical use. So we're not just getting further and further into our silos. We're trying to make it something where the language is accessible to a larger number of people. The ideas are more obviously relevant to a larger group of people. One of our cardinal uh, missions is to encourage our students to be lifelong learners. That's what liberal arts institutions are about. Press that's uh, linked to that kind of a mission is very important for us in the academy. You're not in it for the money, but you're in it to spread knowledge. We're calling it a liberal arts oriented, liberal arts colleges. What that really means is accessible to a larger group of people. Um, not as much jargon, ideas that are more explicitly connected. It's not assumed that the listener already knows those connections. They are connections that we make explicitly in that publication. I have an, an opportunity to reach a whole new section of readers that I might not have ever been able to reach. And that's really important to me as a scholar because I'm writing about another society. And I think that society should have a chance to engage with my work. The students we teach have grown up in the digital era. And therefore, we have to meet the students where they are. And it's really something to tell the student, pull out your computer, let's go to this website, let's look at this document, analyze it, and discuss it. I think most authors are going to like the idea that someone is going to be with them all the way along, from the very beginning to helping them implement it, and then to seeing the finished product. To me, the biggest reason to publish with Lever Press is to have a larger audience. Within academia, it's easy to get frustrated that the book that you've spent the last several years on, the paper you've been working on that's your big magnum opus, is something that's going to be read by this tiny group of specialists within your field. It doesn't have to be that way. I think we can take the new knowledge that we're creating and make it something that's more accessible. That includes the way it's presented and also it being freely available. It's innovative, it's new, and uh, I think that uh, Lever will offer them uh, more opportunities and flexibility in terms of presenting and preserving the full spectrum of their scholarship instead of a small slice. To find out more about Lever Press, including how to submit a publication proposal and how to support our work, please visit leverpress.org.